hello family welcome back to the channel it's good to have you guys here so in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make a net cage veil so without any more ado let us dive in so the things you need for this project is your already made fascinator base your net cage and a flower for embellishment don't forget your needle and thread and also your scissors to cut and your b6000 to gum so you measure your head circumference and you add four inches my head circumference was 21 inches if i add four inches make it 25 inches so i cut out a 25 inches long bed cage and the length of my bed cage is eight inches so what i did was to fold it into two like this and measure five inches from the top and four inches downward like this so guys if you don't know how to mold a fascinator i have a video on this channel and i show how to mold a fascinator using pad and if you also don't know how to you know fix the elastic and also cover the rough edges i also have a video on the channel on how to do just that so having said that so after you cut the next thing you're going to do is to start you know threading like this you're, you're making it's like making running stitches but the stitches are entering inside the pyramid is it diamond holes i think it's diamond holes they're called diamond holes you start from the end you go towards the part that you cut to the other and you keep going till you are done when you're done you draw it like this then you cut off the excess thread and you tie it as close as you want as close as you want like this so after tying it the next thing to do is to put your fascinator on your dummy head but i don't have a dummy head that's why i put the fascinator on my own head to see how I want it to be then you after knowing how you want it to be you make a marking with either a chalk or a pin or something so that you will know but I use a biro to make a marking and you are going to now start sewing make sure you cut off this excess thread then you start sewing with your needle and thread please start sewing from the inside the stitches that should be on top should be small why the stitches on the inside can be rough because you are going to cover it with um, either a padding or a piece of fabric at the end of your stitches sew it as much as possible and sew it as close as possible till you are sure that it's not going to remove i want to say thank you to my viewers and to my subscribers you guys are the best please if you are watching this video for the very first time and you've not subscribed this is a perfect opportunity to subscribe subscribe and click on the notification bell close to the subscribe button because on this channel we have more 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 creativity to show you guys so if you're watching this video and you are learning something please and um, please give me a thumbs so now the next thing to do is to put your flower and to know how just put it how you want it to be make sure it's covering that rough edge i put my flower like this make sure you put enough enough b6000 so that it's going to stick and not fall so having done that that is all about that is all about this net cage fascinator thank you very much for tuning in thank you very much for watching if you've watched this extent i love you so much and thank you god bless you please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you if you're not if you've learned something please say something nice in the comment section and let me know that you are there god bless you see you next time on my next video